following program is sponsored by PokerStars.com. This week on The Big Game, our loose cannon came all the way from Rome. We gotta defend the Italian honor. Yeah. And made a huge call against Phil Helmuth. 9 10. Don't underestimate Italians. It's better if you underestimate. That caught the attention of the rest of the table. It's too strong. Wow, this is the most aggressive loose cannon I've ever seen. And left them with more questions. We're trying to figure out if he's a genius or dumb. And answers. And it's leaning towards genius right now, you know? Find out if Max continues his mind games. Nice fold, nice like fold. I just, I'm trickling chips off to him. Or can these all-stars figure out this Italian secret? Is that where you Italians train in the catacombs? It all happens tonight on The Big Game. Here we go, boys. Here we go. <laughs> Welcome to the biggest game in Las Vegas with Joe Stapleton. I'm Scott Huff, and tonight, some of the most recognizable names in poker continue to battle it out for the more than three quarters of a million dollars on the table in our one-of-a-kind poker room. Bill Perkins has been playing loose as a goose, which explains why he's so down into the game for 180 and stuck almost 140. Phil Locke is usually a dominant force on the big game. Right now, he's struggling to gain any traction. He's down almost 2K. Bienvenue, Elki, the most profitable pro so far this week. The Frenchman schooling both Italians and Americans alike. He's up 39-5. Phil Helmuth tried a big bluff against our cannon earlier this week, and he's still trying to recover. He's stuck almost 18K. Massimiliano Martinez is this week's loose cannon. The 24-year-old economics student came all the way from Rome, Italy, and will use some of his winnings to renovate his home. Max can start looking for a contractor because he's up 82-7. Our final player is also Italian, Dario Minieri. It's his big game debut, and so far he's happy to be invited. He's up almost 35,000. Right now, he's with Amanda Leatherman. Dario, how's your experience on the big game so far? I think he's, of course, a tough game. Uh, I think there's need of luck as well. Right. Um, I'm, I'm not worried because it's, it, this is a game, but uh, that would be nice to win. What do you think of the loose cannons play so far? I think he's very good. Uh, I said to start, I think he's a very good player, and. Uh, Everyone could make the mistake to undervalue him. Mm -hmm. And that would be wrong, because he's a very good player. Because he's Italian. Because he's Italian, yeah. That's why everyone undervalues us, yeah. All right, Dario, good luck. Thank you very much. The loose cannon is staked $100,000 to play. He keeps all money above the initial 100K. And the loose cannon, who's won the most money at season's end, earns a North American Poker Tour passport worth $50,000. Gonzalez Cannon is currently the leader for that NAPT passport at over $155,000 in profit. Gonzalez Cannon. Maybe this will be the 30 hands where I actually get to the cards. Is the fact that the Vatican is nestled in there in the middle of Rome, in the middle of Italy, is there a correlation between that and your training? Is there, like, is it something that goes back to the guild or something from the very beginning? What? All week long, Phil has hypothesized that our loose cannon is too good to be a normal human. He's accused him of being a vampire, a Highlander, a zombie, a virus, and now possibly an Illuminati. 12. <laughs> Poker Brat raises it up with King Queen. Speaking of people not of this earth, Dario folded and it's over to Elki, who's also out. Oh, sorry. Max just did that with mind control. Lock is out too. Ace Queen for the businessman. Perkins VPIP has been through the roof all week, and this is the first time I remember him with a legit hand. And he's just gonna call. He's got Phil dominated. Queen five for the cannon. Folds. Perkins and Helmuth had a bit of a rivalry in season one. So far this week, they haven't tangled. 10-5 jack, couple of spades. Phil with an up and down straight draw. Bill with a gut shot and he checks it. Perkins does have the best hand with ace-queen high. But Phil fires 1,400 on the come. That's not a dirty phrase. It means semi-bluff. <laughs> Perkins calls. Snap called me? Uh, at, least, at least pretend you have nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Eight of hearts on the turn. I right, check. Perkins has picked up a double gutter now. Well, let me see if I can get a bluff through here. Let me think. The old double reverse honesty move. Old faithful. All right, I check. And Helmuth checks. Who knows who's zooming who here? 
River, eight of diamonds, pairs the board. I'll check. Bill checks. Check. Bill checks. Ace queen. These two are just slap fighting each other on that one. Where's the rest of the money, guys? Oh. Wow. Cute flop. Very cute flop. The king comes, I don't know what happens. You probably bet too much, but. Yeah, I, I, are you right? You've done that to me before where you just get excited and make a big bet. Yeah. But if you bet the right amount, you get called. The more you know. So the best hand holds up for Perkins as we take a look at the rules of the big game. Each table lasts exactly 150 hands. The action pre-flop is pot limit, then no limit after the flop. Blinds are two and 400 with a $100 ante, all of which is paid by the player on the button. And every player begins with at least $100,000, but can rebuy for up to 500K. No one's ever rebought for 500K, but I'm really pulling for Bill Perkins. Perkins is straddled. Six deuce for the cannon, folds. Helm Youth with King Seven raises to 3,000. Phil just lost the pot, so he's coming in and raising. Dario's out. Elky folds, oh, exposes a card. Phil Locke with seven tray, lets it go. Perkins calls. Of course you call. Of course. I'm but I know you won't defend with three fives, so. <laughs> <laughs> you, you got one hand out, you can eliminate information. one hand out. I can eliminate any five high from the equation. Yeah. Heads up again between these two to the flop. Eight, ten, seven, rainbow. Filled with bottom pair. Big whiff for Perkins. Check. And he checks. All right. Helmuth checks his pair. Five of clubs on the turn. No help to anyone. Check. Perkins checks. I bet 4,500. And Helmuth's going to bet 4,500. You win. Perkins lets it go. You know. Queen of clubs exposed. I should have bet the flop. I don't know what Eight, I was nine. thinking there. Me neither. I, had, I hit something, but I don't know why I checked there. Joe looks like Phil's taking advantage of Perkins' loose play right now. Perkins is called pre-flop raises an absurd 67% of the time. Seems Helmuth is trying to play pots with the businessman, knowing that as long as Bill doesn't connect, there's probably a good chance of winning the pot. Well, Perkins is staring at a $134,000 deficit, but you know what would be a more interesting stat, Joe? Bill Perkins has brought three female assistants to the big game. How many of them have you struck out with? My percentage would be right around 100. Speaking of ladies, pocket queens for Phil Helmuth. Min raises. Min Yeri's out. Elky with 6-5. I have the button. I just should just, I shouldn't even look. I should just decide I'm going to win. Oh, I don't have to decide I'm going to win. I'm just going to win. Lock calls. I'm just going to win this one. <laughs> Phil does tend to run pretty good on the big game. Pocket kings for the businessman. I'm at the pot. Bill Perkins comes in with the pot. Little pottage. Pottage in the cottage. Pottage in the cottage. Perkins has raised it up to 4,200. Cannon out of the way. Phil Halmuth could be in some real trouble here. How much do you have there anyway? What is it? Nothing. You keep saying not much, and this is a 25K chip, dude. It's nothing. I don't know. They're coming, for, they're coming to take me away, or ha. 40. These two are on a collision course. All right, I'm, I raised the pot, too. Hi -ya. I think Phil Min raised, hoping for this opportunity. Whoops. I actually believe now. I believe. Lock folds to Helmuth's raise to 14,400, and the action's back on Perkins. What are my, what are my choices? Ship it, call, or fold. I re-raised the pot. All right, I'm all in. I'm all in. It's all in. Okay. Aces, or? I got queens. I have kings. Holy cow. Poor Phil Helmuth. Your choice. I mean, let's just run it once, I guess. Go. They're going to run it once. I decided in advance I'm only going to run it he's once. Also, today. You know what? Poker should get back to this one time thing. It's so manly. It's like the West. We're going to go find gold and go into the West and run it one time. <laughs> that one almost actually kind of made sense. His meds must be kicking in. So Bill Perkins all in and in a great position to double up. Flop, six, five, eight, all hearts. Oh, and Phil Locke would have flopped a straight with a straight flush. Redraw, hi ya. Perkins way in the lead. No more outs on the flop and only backdoor chop possibilities. Things are looking bad for Phil. Turn, ace of diamonds. <laughs> Phil now looking for a queen and only a queen, else he's gonna double up Bill Perkins and be left with a teensy weensy stack himself. To the river, 10 of clubs and Perkins is gonna double up. I nice am. Thank you. Perkins seems kind of reserved, being that he just doubled up, no? 
Ta-da! <laughs> I finally won a hand. I got, I got like a couple more of those before I'm back in the game. You're unstuck, I think. Or... No, I'm super stuck. I'm still You're on stuck tilt. less I, than 15? I have less tilt juice in my system. The tilt juice has been <laughs> wrung out, huh? <laughs> I had maximum tilt juice. It was like overdrive. I mean, the businessman, you know, he shows up with kings <laughs> when he has 43,000? Come on. You know, and I, and I so ridiculous what happens to me in this game. Can't deny that. Also can't deny that it makes great TV. More great TV coming up right after this. It'd be nice to, to just hit some cards. It'd be nice to just, you know, maybe when I had the queens and he had the kings, if I would have hit a queen, that would have made up for some of the bad luck I've had. When I get unlucky in a lot of hands, it really, it really, it's, it's just, it gets old. I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. When Phil said it gets old, was he talking about running bad or listening to him afterwards? Because let me tell you, it never gets old. So what other countries have you visited, Mac? What? What other countries have you visited? Uh, China. Two times. China? China twice? Why? China. China. What are you doing there? Because my uncle is the ambassador. Ah. What? Do you speak Chinese That's at all? Chinese. No. Chinese, Chinese mountain. Chinese Where's that? Where's that? Where's that? Where's that? Where's that? In China, you know? Shanghai. Yeah, right. It's like the Shaolin monks. Where's the embassy in Shanghai? Ben Beijing? Yeah, in uh, Beijing. Yeah. Beijing? Yeah. Dario. And I, I did like this embassy package thing. We found a secret location where he was training. System. He was training with the Shaolin monks in Beijing. I didn't know. Now we got it. Elkie figured it out. Elkie figured it out where he's been training. <laughs> Joining Amanda on the couch this week is Italian poker pro Luca Pagano. Not the catacombs. It was in the with the Shalon monks in Beijing. Abacus. <laughs> That's where it was. He just let it out. China twice, this, that. No, Elky figured it out. Right Elky solved it. Yep. In the monasteries, they ask, what is the sound of one hand folding? <laughs> Perkins raised to 900 in the cannon, folds. It's Chinese influence. That's why it's so hard to beat. 2,300. Stop. How many three raises to 2,300 with King Queen? Right. I don't want even nine. You can give me some money back. Fine. Because you wanted the money back here. Fine. Perkins makes the call. Battle! You didn't lose yet. Remember what I said earlier about these two not tangling? I take it back. Flop, 8-8 eight, eight jack. Helmuth has the pre-flop lead. 5,000. He keeps it, bets 5K. Can't get in trouble with that flop. Perkins folds. You got the money back, see? Gonna show one card? Well, 2,300 I got. So Phil gets a little revenge against Perkins, but he's probably looking for a lot more, especially considering last season's confrontation with the oh. businessman. But Phil's a great player. I like him, I like ribbing him. The only edge is to get him thinking emotionally and not mathematically, and I used that to my advantage last time. What is going on here? Did you have beaten this, Phil? Maybe? Businessman's running lucky, huh? Business. Donkeys get lucky, I'm telling you, you gotta be careful. Hey Phil, tell me what you remember about Bill Perkins. Um, don't really remember much about him. He hate me. This motherfucker is running so good. Bullets were flying. We played once, I think. I think you're gonna lose a hundred, but I think you're gonna spread it around to these guys. I hope I can get some of it. Well, thanks for the vote of confidence, Mr. Cocky. Uh, I honestly don't remember. Did he try to get to me last time? I'm just speaking the truth, man. No, you're speaking your opinion, man. Well, just because you're married to a woman for 20 years doesn't mean that I'm going to tolerate you. Let's keep it friendly, boys. I don't want to have to break up a fight. I guess I remember it vaguely. Classic guy, buddy. You are. Why? What did I do? Why would you say that? You want to just step He's on me? He's a school teacher. For God's sakes, man. The screaming will do you a lot of good. Don't know what to say. To many people, I was the hero. When you have a big personality like mine on the set with him, sparks are bound to fly. Relax, buddy. You may be able to push other people around, but not me. I mean, I feel like if I'm stupid enough to give it back to him, then I've made a mistake. Because you don't fight with a fly. You shoo a fly away. It's good natured ribbon. I don't like it to get too far across the line. We're all here to play cards, not go to war. In his mind, in my mind, and probably in a lot of the fans' mind, it's round two. You might think Phil's pretending to not remember Bill Perkins. Trust me, he's not. He still calls me buddy every time oh. he sees me.
Who's this guy at the table straddling? That's that's Bill Perkins, Scott. Oh, right, the businessman. Suited one gapper for the cannon. Chucks it. King Queen for Helmuth. 26. Raises to 2,600. Minieri out. Elke with Queen 6. Folds. Phil Helmuth typically opens a lot of pots in the show, and he's been opening a lot this week, only he's been clowning around far less. Nine tray of spades for Phil Locke. This would be a very odd call out of position for Phil Locke. But he does call. Thank you. Perkins obviously likes his pot odds. <laughs> I need you. Calls 1800 with the seven tray. Not as odd a call for Perkins. Well, it's a scoreboard situation. I have 2K profit right now, should I fold. So sometimes you play the stack. Fold up or you know? play the huge side, that's true. <laughs> to the flop, 10 ace jack rainbow. Phil has flopped the stone cold nuts. And everyone else has stone cold nothing. Even when Phil runs good, he runs bad. Lock checks. Some guy checks. Phil probably isn't going to get much action. How much should bet 2100? Haha, <laughs> he's got it. He did it. He's ruined the whole thing. He is a genius. He does bet 2100. That's why he can hang with the Shaolin monks that, you know, disguise themselves oh, as Italians. You know, he can do it. Kung Fu Panda down there. Kung Fu Max. God uh, damn, what the f***? Shall bluff here, my idol. Don't worry about it, I'll Phil. Bluff. On that hand, if I'm putting money in the Check. flop. Check. Holy cow. Check it. Helmuth, if I put money in it with you, trust me, right in that moment, I was going to have some. Yeah, I believe you. Check like a, like Ace Jack. It would be all right. Wow, how did he flop the nuts? Nizzles. Wow, I'm so glad I didn't make a move on Helmuth right then. <laughs> lock, Phil H. That's Phil Lock. Remember him from poker? Or big game coming up right after this. Welcome back to the big game where we've reached hand 73 of the 150 to be played this week. Action will start on Phil Helmuth. Here's what you do, cold call. No. I don't trust you. I trust, what I do is I trust my instincts. I, Folds. I call with anything. Yeah, Dario, King-10 offsuit. Haven't heard from Dario in a little while. Palm set up to 1100. A suit of days for Elky. I want a thumb ring like Dario. <laughs> Elky calls. What? A thumb ring like Dario. Lock <laughs> folds, action on Perkins. And he calls. Ace deuce for the cannon. Probably an easy defend with those pot odds. And it is. Not Alki, not yet. But I'm waiting for him to go off loose. <laughs> Dario's been popping pop me like four or five times, so. Four way action to the flop. Three, five, nine, all clubs. Pretty much all right, everybody, club check. <laughs> Perkins checks. Bottom pair. No club. Max has ace high, worst club. And checks. Dario's got the second nut flush draw and the pre flop betting lead. And checks it as well. Elky's got ace high with a wheel draw, but also no club. And it's going to check around. We'll see a turn. Jack of diamonds. Perkins perks up. Now with top and bottom. No one with the betting lead at the moment. He fires out 2,600 with two pair. Action over to our loose cannon. Italians are famous for their cooking, and it looks like Max is cooking up something here. Looks like he's cooking up a raise, possibly. That's a lot of chips. Makes it 11,600. With nothing but ace high and a gut shot. That's some machismo. Dario out. Tough to call there with a bet and a raise in front of you. How much do I have to put in? And Elke gives up his gut shot. Perkins makes the call easily. Quick call from Perkins. Frustration call or soul read. You be the judge. Queen of diamonds on the river. A straight now possible as well. Perkins checks. Perkins still with the best hand. Dario's King-10 would have gotten there. Max knows he can't win this pot by checking. And Perkins is still checking. All right, he's done. Max, your action. And a lot of action. Bet's 23,100. On a stone bluff, and this cannon is cannoning. Now, for Bill Perkins with two pair, it's not the hardest call in the world, but it's not the easiest either. I give him Phil's money. That sounds like a call. Here's Phil's money. Flush. And it is. Nice man. Oops. Where, where's that? Ace, Ace high. <laughs> Perkins was so sure he lost. <laughs> and Perkins is going to drag a pot worth almost 75K. Bill Perkins. Nuclear Bill. 
I just got some two gonads and some tilt juice in Are me. you telling me we were supposed <laughs> to be calling him all these other times? Are you the first one out of the car to book him up? I got tilt juice in me. You make I'm wondering about some of my folds. You think? <laughs> tilt juice make you strong. I prefer sugar-free <laughs> tilt juice. I'm trying to watch the carbs. <laughs> so Bill Perkins rakes a healthy pot there and goes from negative to slightly less negative. Meanwhile, our loose cannon, Massimiliano Martinez, was up 92K after just seven hands. Now after 73 hands, up only 43,000. Let's see if that picked-off bluff slows Max down at all. Elky folds. Phil Locke suited 8-7. Min raise. Bill Perkins, slightly less tilt juice with the 8-5. Makes the call. Hello, Phil. Pierce Perkins has brought an entire styrofoam cooler of tilt juice. Has been tailgating with it on the brakes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Action folded around and Minieri made the call. Three-way action to the flop. Eight, ace, five, two spades. Perkins with two pair again. No tells on this guy whatsoever. <laughs> oh, I don't know how it goes. Minieri checks his pair. Locke's got middle pair, but he's reverse dominated to Perkins. He checks it and Perkins fires out 2,000. Dario's out. It's like he's making it rain, you know? It's like raining chips. Make it rain. Make it rain. Back on lock. Can call the guy who makes it rain. You want me to play the same with you? I don't know. You're such a donkey. I'm a little afraid. Be quiet, Bill. I'm always afraid of you. Don't want to chase off the fishy. It's like, I want to if you miss. Oh, my God. Shh. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm just playing too technical. All those spades. And lock folds. I don't have spades. No, uh, but I don't like the spades. And I don't have a single spade. You want your cards back? You do have spades. I have two pair. I have eight five. He shows. Eight five? Yeah, I have eight five. No, unsuited. Come on. Mm -hmm. I told you, he's in hand. Two in a row for Perkins. Funny, I don't remember what I had. Bill with the senior moment. Or something like, it was maybe something like seven eight of diamonds. I don't know what it was. Welcome back to the big game where despite bleeding some chips, Massimiliano Martinez tops the chart at over 44K. And look at Phil Locke, he's even Steven for the week. Although Max is down for the night, he still has a profit. And remember, if the cannon finishes positive after 150 hands, he keeps anything over that initial $100,000. All right, Joe, the loose cannons traveled all the way from Rome. It doesn't seem to be phased at all by the time difference so far. I know. Who brought the ringer? Massimiliano's been playing molto aggressivo. Mwah! Free flop is 12% three bet percentage is not only second at this table, but it's also one of the highest ever by a loose cannon. And despite ranking fifth, Max's VPIP of 31 is a fairly active number as well. Post flop, he's continued that aggressive approach with a 1.9 aggro factor and done most of his damage at showdown, banking 195K already, which is well over 10 billion lira. So Max is really putting destiny into his own hands by taking the action to the pros. Did you say action, Scott? Because you can't say action without referring to the businessman, Bill Perkins. You literally can't. It's in your contract. While this has been a very loose table with both the fills playing half the pots, they're all being dwarfed by Perkins at a towering 73% VPIP. The last time this guy folded preflop was on a missed deal. And good luck getting this action junkie to fold to a raised preflop. He's stationing a staggering 69% of the time. Also, Bill's seen 64% of flops to this point, a third more than the next closest player as the statistical skyline continues to grow. In this case, aggression not a good thing for Perkins as he's donated over 60K. What a generous guy. And what do you think about our other Italian at the table, Dario Minieri? Super Dario is absolutely mashing this table pre-flop like a giant mushroom. His 3-bet percentage of 22 is really putting his opponents to the test early. And Minieri has maintained that aggression factor after the flop as well, leading the table with a 3.0, all adding up to a nice 28k profit so far. Well, let's see if one of these Roman gladiators eventually gets the thumbs up or the thumbs down. Are you not entertained? Sure thing, Maximus. <laughs> oh my God, wait a minute. One, 20, 30, 40. I'm even. I'm exactly even. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, I double checked. Close, I don't know. Even. Has, Who? has anybody seen anybody celebrate mediocrity more than him? I'm pretty okay with it. Are you so proud how is, of being mediocre? How is even being mediocre? Like, mediocre? I'm even. <laughs> How is that being mediocre? Wow. That is amazing. I'm, I'm here with a Shalom Monk, 11-time bracelet winner, <laughs> a telepath, a guy who's won 10 million in poker, and you have position on me, you play every hand. Well, I guess when you put it that way. All right, now quit waiting for the awards ceremony and get back in there. Our dealer, Marcus, will get us started here, and Perkins is straddled. 
So the action will be on the cannon with nine deuce suited. Let's it go. Helmuth, king four suited. Wow. Can I really just limp? Probably shouldn't. But he does. Miniari folds. Action on Elgi with queen six of diamonds. Well, he's priced in. And he completes. Action on Phil Locke with 7-5. These limb pots are going to get a lot of hands in there that might not otherwise call. All right, they dragged me in. To try to come back. And Locke calls. Yeah, I'm trying check. to get unstuck, yeah. I know I'm stuck. Check it, check it up. Me. One check's fine, sir. <laughs> Four-way action of the flop. Ace, nine, ten, rainbow. Whole lot of whiffing going on. Everyone missed this flop harder than when Greedo fired the first shot. Elky checks. Elky has queen high and some backdoor draws. Checks around to Helmuth. Phil, stay with us. Come on. Check. <laughs> Helmuth checks. Although he does have the best hand. Five of hearts on the turn. Locke makes a pair. Phil Helmuth with a flush draw. Elky checks. And Locke bets 400. 400 big ones. Aggression. Perkins raises to 2,200 with his gut shot. Helmley's picked up the second nut flush draw, and we know his king is still alive. You have me covered again, right? Uh, possibly. All right, I'll let you, the dealer. That's good, that's good. Well, I would guess Phil's not folding. 8,000. He re-raises to 8,000. And Elky will let it go. Locke still has the best hand, though not a strong one, and he was just raised twice. Phil home with 8,000, he says. I hate giving anybody money like this. The 400 you just put out there? And Locke folds. Man. I fold. Can I see the last card? Elmuth takes it down. I want to see the last card, too. I say don't show it. Rabbit hunt denied. <laughs> Helmet doesn't count. Oh, can show the last no. card. What if, no, what if like, Ace, like, Ace Hearts comes out? I'd be so steamed because everyone gets their money back. <laughs> no, for another reason. Already. I would have made quads and you guys would have, you oh, know, yeah. and someone would have made a flush and now I'm steamed up, you know? Oh, right. Sure, Phil. You would have made quads. Okay. Yeah, he was just two aces in his hand and then an ace on the river away from making quads. That's close. So close. Action will start here on the poker fibber. Jack nine of hearts. Another min raise from this table. Minieri's out. 9-7 for Elky. Let's it go. Helmuth wants a lot of action, I guess. 7-4 suited for Locke. He's in, and Perkins quickly in with the 6-5. Oh, Queen 8 of clubs for Massimiliano Martinez. Hard cannon. Makes the call. Back in the old days, he just potted it there, and... You know, he just pops it, right? Cannon would be. You might fold, I might call, he Ooh. might call or fold, and then he just bets 75% pot and wins it. You know? Yeah. I love stories about the old days. It was a different time then. If you five bet with anything other than aces, it was considered an angle shoot. Deuce four, five on the flop. He'd be like, Ch -ch -ch boom. Perkins checks his top baron gut shot. Max with just queen high. Checks it. Helmuth with just jack high. And he checks. Locke's got middle pair and some back door draws. Checks it. Phil checked, really? To the turn, ace of diamonds. Despite the potential scare car, Perkins still has the best hand. I didn't expect that out of you. Bets 3K. Martinez is out, as is Phil. I wish I had a pair. I wish I had a three. And I really wish I had a three six, because if you had a three and I had a three six, it would be Shibola. Shibola. Oh. So how do you know I don't have three six? And Perkins shows his six with Phil still to act. Hmm. Perkins doesn't know it, but he wants a call. Wow. Oh, gave you a card. You even called the call. Possible? Almost got him That's a call. A nice roll. Perkins wins. Yeah, like it's possible to show one card, right? Yeah, yeah, you can show yeah. whatever you want. Mm. I mean, I think wings off flies. And this is the guy I want to do business with. That's why I love him. Because he's hungry. You know, I got to love the hunger. I love your hunger, sir. I love it. I love it. I love it. He showed the six of diamonds. Now we have to call him. This is a move you won't find in many poker books. It's called Keep the Rich Fish Having a Good Time. You were calling that? Yeah. What can you have? The Perkins Revival Tour continues. Back after this. And I've crossed over the even watermark so many times that it's almost like I feel like, like a boat just in a bay, just trying to just stabilize. <laughs>
And I'm not going out to sea. I'm not going into into drinking the tavern. I'm just in the bay, you know. <laughs> That's what it feels like. I think the boat metaphor finally explains that knit hat he was wearing. Phil must be on leave from his day job on Deadliest Catch. And he's stuck almost 4000 bucks. Remember, there's more behind-the-scenes action as well as bonus hands and stats on the website. Yeah, it feels, it feels a little calm right now. People lurking, waiting for big hands. They're squeezing. Eight deuce for Perkins. Oh, my God. Thank goodness. Folds. Bill Perkins just folded pre-flop. Sound the alarm. Martinez with king eight lets it go. Jack ten of diamonds for Phil Helmuth. And he'll limp. Jack-10 suited to great multi-way hand, but he could still probably raise and not chase away much action and play a bigger pot if it hits. Big slick for Dario. 14. Raises to 1,400. Elki out. And Locke with Presto makes the call. Well, now that Helmy's nutted for diamonds, maybe it's better to play a smaller pot. And he calls. So I feel like I'm directing traffic. <laughs> well, it does involve several streets. <laughs> To the flop, 10 ace jack, two clubs filled with two pair. Dario a top pair and a gut shot. Too bad we couldn't get a five in there. I am first stacked, right? Yep, I check. Lock checks. And Helmuth checks. Checks to the razor. No reason for Dario to play top pair slow here. This could get juicy. And Minieri bets 3,100. I think I'm folding, boys. Double check in. Yes, I'm folding. And Locke lets it go. Helmuth double checks. Still two pair. I can't fold yet. Makes the call. Phil maybe wanting to control this pot with all those draws out there. I check. And he dark checks. Seven of diamonds on the turn. Doesn't change anything. And Phil has already checked, so the action's on Dario. Dario is still likely to think he has the best hand. It's a super wet board, and Phil could easily still be drawing. 64. That's 6,400. Oh, let me think for a minute here. Hollywood. The Bill Perkins School of Tells. All right, I call. Makes the call. The mini speech might have been a giveaway. To the river. Six of hearts. About as big a brick as you could expect. Helmy has got it locked up unless Dario finds some way to blow him off his hand. You know what? Let me take a little crack at this putt. Yeah, just take a little bet here. 9,000. My hand's probably no good, but whatevs. That's 9K. Speech aside, that's a pretty good bet. Can maybe look like a missed draw. Dario can't really like it. He calls. Tens and jacks. Good. And Helmut takes it down. <laughs> Can't believe that didn't get bleeped in Italy clearing your throat's an insult. Oh my god, I need to go back to school. Did they teach you what's going on in that hand in, in China? Because I had no, I didn't know that was what was happening. So Phil takes down the pot and he continues to crawl his way out of a deep hole he dug with a bluff earlier in the session. He's down almost 16K. That was confusing, right? You guys play some kung fu that I've not seen before. He might have had like ace nine suited. That's about as weak as it could have been. Personally, I think Dara folds ace nine in that spot. It's just me. Ace nine, I'm going. I'm going with ace nine. Apparently, they also have the if you don't have anything nice to say phrase in Italy as well. <laughs> Action on Helmuth with jack nine. Limps. Besides, Dario would never play a hand as bad as ace nine. Uh, all right, never mind. <laughs> ace eight of spades for Dario. Raises to 1500. Elki's been pretty quiet this session. Big slick. He's about to get louder. Makes it 4,400. Well, I was trying to direct traffic again. <laughs> yeah, you're true. That's what you were talking about earlier. Ten jack suit and limp. You know you can call one raise with it, Phil, but you don't want to call a double. <laughs> Not saying I have it this time. Locking Perkins out, Cannon out, and Phil lets it go. Dario's out of position with a weak ace, and Elki hasn't really been getting out of line today. Minieri makes the call. Very loose call. Also, Locke folded an ace. Elki always looks like he's trying to solve a mystery. So their heads up to the flop. Five, deuce, deuce, two spades. Minieri comes from way behind here to almost a coin flip with his flush draw. Despite the loose call pre-flop, that's a great flop for Dario, one he probably won't be afraid to get some money in with. Checks it to Elki. Elki does have the best hand, and a C-bet would typically win him this pot. And he does fire the C-bet, 6,600. Obviously, Dario can't fold, but he might not want to get a ton of money in just yet.
and he does just call. Elky's been playing pretty solid, so Dario maybe wants to control the pot a bit with just a draw and a weak ace high. Turn, queen of hearts. Affects neither player's hand and doesn't affect the board texture either. And Yeri checks. Sure, Dario would be happy to take a free card here. And Poirot hasn't quite figured it out. Checks around. <laughs> Tray of diamonds on the end. Big miss for everybody. Elky's still best. Looks like Super Dario is going to try to rep a hand anyways. Super Dario fires a big shell on the end, 16-6. Not many draws came in, so there's a ton of missed draws in Dario's range, but the problem is Dario could easily value bet any pair knowing Elky might look him up with ace high. And Elky lets it go. I play with Seek, so Seek. Dario drags a pot worth a little over 40,000. Nice end, Dario. Thank you. you had it? What about you? Me? Nice end too. Nice end? But not a nice board. When Elky played StarCraft, he never complained about a bad board, ever. Step up. Welcome back to the big game where Italy's Massimiliano Martinez has seen his profit cut nearly in half to 46 and change. Max was up 92K earlier in the session, posed a real threat to Gonzo for the passport. Now, not so much. <laughs> Yeah, his queen is nine, is eight, uh, any ace suit that, that didn't two par. But you I can't check ratio on the river. How much are you going to bet on the river? I, I'm agree, I'm agree. You can check all. Dario folds. So you might only bet seven. My bet is bigger than what you think. Elky raises. Because I bet what I would bet on a bluff. I shouldn't give you this information. That's true. Okay, guys, now just let it go. Lock calls 1300 with the 10 8. Perkins, King Jack calls. The cannon with the 9-7. He's thinking about it. He's got some decent immediate odds if he wants to get in there, splash around. Splash he will. Phil Helmuth, King 10, suited, makes the call. Alrighty then. Oh, poor little Dario's the run to the family pot. Bambino! Just five-way action this time. Trey 9-4, a couple of hearts, cannon with top pair. And checks it. Helmuth checks. Elky's got middle pair and was the original Razor. Keeps the lead, bets 3,300. Locke hoping for some better cards. And ditches these. Perkins out of the way. Back on Martinez. The cannon hasn't made a ton of mistakes. Let's see how he handles top pair, weak kicker versus Elky's aggression. Just calls. That is a very disappointing flop, dealer. <laughs> For me, I had a nice little hand there. Oh. Translation for Elky's face. Okay. <laughs> Turn, ace of hearts. Elky with two pair. Top pair, no longer top pair for the cannon. Eddie checks it. Elky's got aces up now and probably really loves his hand, though I'm sure he wouldn't love to see another heart come off. Elky bets 8,200. Max likely knows that this would be a good card for Elky to bluff at. And unlike most loose cannons, Max does not back down easily. Reaching for chips. And Max calls from well behind here. We're going to see a river. Elky's got Max in bad shape. River, nine of clubs, not anymore. Max makes trips. I wonder if they have the word Yahtzee in Italian. He checks it. Max is taking a shot that Elky will bet at this. His two pair are counterfeited. Elky won't be trapped. He checks. Martinez shows him the winner. Elky's not running like Elky today. Still, he manages to lose the minimum. Well played, monsieur. Max Martinez taking down a pot worth over 30000 bucks. He's running like Elky today. The cannon runs good. Yep. And that's how a bill becomes law, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's how a bill becomes law. Oh. Non sequitur schoolhouse rock oh. reference for the win. <laughs> well, Max won't apologize for putting the bad beat on Elky, whose profit has now dropped to just over 12K. Elky ranks dead last for the week in both aggression factor and pots one. I would recommend picking up his play and, of course, avoid getting bad beat on the river.
You have to go and make it official. We had him doubting, you know, the ace high bluff thing, whatever. We had him doubting. Now you have to go re cement. <laughs> He's aligned with the Shaolin monks again, kid. He's aligned. That's not my fault. That's uh -huh. <laughs> you know, in France, they call a royal flush a royale with cheese. <laughs> Helky <sighs> fold. All right. The lock, eight tray of diamonds. I mean, it's obviously what you have Great double down hand. He raises to 1200. 10 8 for Perkins. Calls. Max the cannon. Pocket aces. What a superb spot for a three bet. In position, a bet and a call in front of you. Wow. And he does. Raises to 5,100. Phil quickly out. Four tray of clubs from Minieri. Dario's got a hand that's good for snapping aces, but he's out of position. Two shallow monks are on the mat right now. You know? Looks like we're about to see a slow motion wire fight up above some trees. I would expect a lot of dusty punches. <laughs> this is a big re-raise. Dario's out of position, not getting the right price, and he's not closing the action. Crouching Tiger, massive four bet. <laughs> Makes it 18,100. Back in my younger days. You would have folded even faster. <laughs> Lock lets it go, as does Perkins. Now the great thing about the cannon spot here is there's only one thing he can do that's minus EV, and that's fold. Of course, he can try to get more money in now, but since he's in position, calling would be fine too. All depends on how strong he thinks Dario is. And this just became a five alarm dumpster fire for Dario. Martinez is raised to 37 2. Much have left. Dario had a pretty good idea, just picked a bad spot. And we'll let you count in Italian. <laughs> 125 and 700. Dario has to know the cannon means business at this point, but I'm sure he's considering the likelihood of Max folding to a six bet. Not bloody likely. Max would love to see a six bet here. Fold. Dario folds, and Max is going to take down a nice pot preflop. Wow, this is unbelievable. That was scary. something, huh, Phil? It's that scary. Was something. He has come over the top. He's got the last raisin in like every pot he's played. So he's either had aces and kings like or he's a 17 winner. times, or the he's tape just, will show he's, he's a out genius. there. On the edge, dancing with danger or surfing the edge of perfection. Something in there. There is a Shaolin monks in a battle. The Shaolin and the Wu Tang could be dangerous. Cannon is now close to where he began the evening, and Dario's friskiness drops him to basically even for the week. Elke joins those two above the line, while Perkins still tries to resuscitate his stack. The loose cannon made a late recovery, and with two nights to go, Max still has a shot at the NAPT passport but he's gonna need to keep playing well and running well. All right, guys, into the night. Max, it's been a roller coaster week, huh? Yeah. You're up a lot. Uh, about 80K. How are you feeling? Uh, I feel good. Are you excited? Not so much. <laughs> I just wanna win. If you bust everybody in one hand, I Then he's, that's the only way he's gonna be excited. How are you doing, Phil? I'm doing great. I have zero complaints, girl. Yeah? What's up? He's gonna give you a lesson, I think. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. That's it for tonight, guys. I'm Amanda Leatherman saying goodbye for now. And remember, if you've got the cash and the guts, there's always a seat open at the big game. Good night, everybody. Join us next time to see if Max's stack echoes throughout eternity on the big game, or will he be fed to the Lions? For Stapes, this is Huff saying so long from Vegas. We just saw the two senseis go to the mat, and uh, Elkie believes, and he stated in the middle of that hand that he thinks maybe you're not a, uh, a monk. Shaolin monk, but maybe he is. Maybe, you know, he's one in China. We never heard you say any time in China, yeah, so it's possible, you know? You skip Kung Fu school. It's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. The preceding program was sponsored by PokerStars.com.